Alright guys and welcome back to Forza Motorsport 6. This is a Hot Hatch Deathmatch Part 4. In this episode we'll see the winners of Part 1 and Part 2 go head to head. That means it's the Ford Focus RS versus the Volkswagen Golf R. Alright guys and first up is the Volkswagen Golf R. This car of course has a 2 litre petrol engine. It's got an all wheel drive system. So we can just bounce it off a limiter and let her go. Oh aye. <laughs> Launches off the line like a fucking scarper dog. Down in that first corner. This is really good actually. Ah, we're up in two wheels. Fuck me, right, let's go. Focus now. We had two shitty fucking races in the A-Class and the, uh, Vauxs the Vauxhall Astra. And going by the second corner, we're going to have a shitty race in this fucker too. Understeered a bit wide in the second corner, but we'll just uh, we'll get over that. We'll move on. Third corner was much better. It was a good turn. Thank you, Forza. Coming up in through here, we're getting up in the fourth at around 82 mile an hour. That's not bad. Of course, you wouldn't be doing that in your Volkswagen Golf R. Maybe a rental car, yes, but not your own. Coming up into this corner, get on the brakes like a fat doll gets on a keg. Hard, fast and with no remorse. Coming down and always oh, just lock the fuckers up right now, now, come on. Oh, it's the Volkswagen WRX Golf here. Of course that's going to badly affect the time. Really, really good, keeping in the tight in the corners. Two point seven seconds off that sector. Ah, much better that corner, at least we're away or we're not away out wide. That would badly affect the time. Again, two point seven seconds off that sector. Car feels really solid. But will it be enough to beat the Mercedes A45 AMG? We'll soon see. And across the line with a 152. That's not bad. Up on two wheels again, and we're understeered wide, we're understeered wide. Now, what? I'm rewinding that. Need to give this car a fair chance. Picked up. <laughs> oh shit! On it. Oh no, no, we're not wide. No, we're not. We're not wide. That's good. Thought we were going to go wide and put the car into the wall, but luckily we didn't. Uh, coming across the line, bouncing the limiter at a one fifty one point nine eight three. Seems as though the Mercedes Benz A Class has beat it. That's a solid time for the Volkswagen Golf R. Next up will be the Ford Focus RS. And we are back with a Ford Focus RS. Let's see how this car does on track. I dare say it'll be better than the the uh, Golf that we previously had out. Hopefully it'll be better than the Mercedes. This car was of course the fastest in the the first two parts of the series. Coming down and through the first corner again up just slightly up on two wheels there. It's a really well planted car. 
Every other time we've went through this corner, we've always had difficulties. But fortunately, not this time with the Ford Focus RS, because it is the better car. I'm down here just locked up a wee bit at the last minute there in the corner. And now we're out of the corner and we're really starting to pick up speed. Oh, not paying any attention and I'm driving around the fucking grass again. Just a slight wheel on the grass. Slow you down and badly affect your lap time. This car doesn't feel faster than the A-Class, it really doesn't. But of course this car really does make it up in the corners. Now again, just breaking there's so many corners on this track and it's paramount that you really make sure that the, the car is maintaining most of the speed in those corners. And of course the corner that always catches me out. Managed to get it around there with no difficulties for a change anyway. Even got it around that corner without any difficulties. Bloody hell, there must be something wrong with me. And around here. Really holding the speed well in that corner. First lap, we're about to cross the line. With a 1 minute 51.873. This car's already in a position to take the lead from the A45 AMG. I just need to make sure I don't mess up any corners. Coming down here, you can get the power on really early out of the corners, which is great. Just want to break early for that corner. Always feel as though I can carry more speed than I actually can. Sometimes I mess it up. But I feel as though I was a bit slow through there, so definitely on the third lap I'll need to improve that. Oh shit, I <laughs> wasn't paying any attention. Just bouncing the limiter. It's not going to be good for us. Ran the curb, pushed the side a bit wide. But it seems to have uh, had little effect on the the balance of the car. Onto the grass again. Seems to be my favourite place on this circuit. Wasn't too good through that corner. Turned in way too late. We're coming across the line with a 1 minute 48.224. So we just need to take a couple seconds off this lap and it'll definitely be the fastest one or the fastest hatchback all right we are not much faster through that sector unfortunately hopefully f through the last few corners we can start to uh, increase the gap that was pretty purr going through that corner. Just felt as though I needed to break a little bit harder, but unfortunately I did not. Hard on to the brakes and coming around the last corner. Making sure we're getting the power on early and increasing the speed quickly. Coming across the line, 140. Oh, fuck! Oh my god, that was so close. Nearly into the 147s on that lap. Focus RS is just miles above the, or miles better than the rest of the cars that we've raced. The A Class, it was, it improved massively. It felt like a much more enjoyable car to drive, but of course, the Focus RS, oh, such a good car. Of course, guys, I'm going to end it here. Uh, the next part of the series will be out tomorrow. That'll be the Ford Focus RS versus the Mercedes-Benz A45 AMG. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.